That's what I miss about wrestling today. You don't get those anymore. Very seldom do you get those huge pops anymore. And uh, there's a reason for that. It's the way the guys are wrestling. They're not building their stuff. They're just doing as much great stuff as they can back to back to back to back to back to back to back. You know? Right. They go out and use 17 finishes and then lose the match on a schoolboy. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> That's, that pisses me off more than anything. Why in the hell are you getting beat by a schoolboy? You would rather get beaten by some slip on, slip on a banana peel bullshit finish they get beat by the other guy's finish. Yep. Why? If I'm going to get beat, I want to get beat by the nastiest, gnarliest damn finishing maneuver ever done. Not the damn schoolboy, because that just makes you look stupid. And to your point, if if everything, if you're sitting there watching a match and it's all high spot, high spot, and everything's great, if everything's great, then nothing is great. No. You've no. got to have the build to it. So I'm, I'm with you, man. The people never get a chance to reset their pop meter. They just keep getting it. Boom, 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 one after another. And pretty soon you're just sitting there chewing your gum going, what the fuck? Yeah, right. You know? And uh, there's still a few guys that go out and wrestle. But, uh, man, don't do too much of it or you'll find yourself on first match. <laughs> Which is a, such a shame, man. It's not yeah, about it the. Is. It's it's about telling a story. That's why we're all there. We we love absolutely. storytelling. We absolutely, and that's how we get connected to people emotionally, not just, not just you know from the the side of all these crazy ass maneuvers are doing. 